What's up guys? Mom Ramrod here from Fam Ramrod. Um, I'm currently standing in front of our 125 gallon tank with our giant Oscar cichlids. Um, I figured today I would take you around and show you all of our tanks, so let's do it. Alright, first off I know you wanted to see that 125 gallon tank, but we're going to take a look at this one I believe is a 75 I can't remember exactly how big but I believe 75 maybe 95 if they make those I don't remember um, this is my husband's tank um, he did have plans to do African cichlids in it but um, some things changed and we ended up draining the tank before we um, got any fish but this one's getting it moved to uh, another location in the house that's why it's currently empty but here soon hopefully we can get it moved and filled up and we're going to turn it into our glowfish tetra tank um, so if you have any suggestions on what goes good with some tetras uh, let me know because I would love to make a beautiful bright um, colony of fish in this one here um, so okay 125 gallon tank with four African cichlids. Oh, there's two. This water is super clear. When we got them, this water was so murky and gross and just filth. Like, you could hardly tell the colors of the fish because there was so much stuff. Look, he's so mad. Everyone's like, knock it off. Knock it off, man. Cool fish. Cool of course we've got our plecos uh, I think that might be a sailfin actually um, so we I just call them all sucker fishes I mean they got that sucker mouth they look like a sucker fish I know it's not they're like two different things really but it's a sucker fish tell me it's not a sucker Look at these two. Yeah, it's doing. Oh, <laughs> one got in the way. Trying to dominate each other here. But there's one of the sucker. He's so cool. So cool. And here's our albino. He likes to hang out on the sides for some reason. He's all either on this side or the other side every time. So here's the second one. The second sucker. Pretty massive. Pretty massive indeed. Here's another sucker. Just kidding. That's my daughter. So this one is a 55. Um, my kid is sleeping right behind me, so I'm going to be a little bit quieter. Sorry, guys. So this is a 55 gallon. We've got a little goldfish, baby. We've got an African cichlid. His name is Bruce. We've got some glowfish tetras, which are going to be moved to that other tank, the 75 gallon tank. There's four in here total. Um, there's another pink one right there. We've got this guy, sailfin. Uh, no, sorry, he's a bristle nose. Maybe it is sailfin, I don't know, but bristle nose sucker. This little baby guy, he's albino. Isn't that cute? Let's see if we can get a close-up of his face. Sorry for the shaking. I was getting on down on the floor. Hopefully he holds still long enough. We can see his little mouth. There we go. So cool. But yeah, he's an albino bristle nose. And I see this bad boy back here peeking. That's Frankie, African cichlid. His fins are a little messed up. He was a rescue as well. Um, so yeah. So we've got the cichlids in here with my tetras. But soon the tetras will be gone. Or in another tank, I should say. Out of this tank. I love their mouths. They are so fascinating. Look at that. Look at him peeking. 
Got Bruce over here slapping the glass. What are you doing, Bruce? Don't chase my Tetras. Such a goofy fish, always spying through the rocks. Their hiding tendencies. Um, I do have a little two little goldfish in here. I showed you one at the beginning, the albino. There's the other one. There they are. All right. So that's our second tank. That's our 55 gallon. Well, our third tank, I should say, but the first one was empty. Then we have a 35, which is also empty. Sorry, it is dark in here. We got a sleeping ramrod. Time to go. Let's go to the next tank. Let's go look at the other tank upstairs, girl. Okay. All right, I'll follow you. Okay, here we are at our fourth tank. Fifth tank, technically. Third active tank. This was actually our first tank that we've gotten, ever gotten. Our very first tank. It's very nice, I think. Very peaceful. Um, all right, so this is a 55. We have parkour, African cichlid. There's a goldfish. We don't name our goldfish. There's three of them. They don't have names. They're just goldfish. Here's the other two Oscars. That one is pretty black. I don't know if you can... He's kind of hard to see through the glass. But he's a very black and orange fish. He's like, loves being filmed. He loves like seeing us. He's so hard to see. Bad lighting. Let me fix that. Okay, hopefully that's better. Let's see. Focus. Alright, so here is Vader. He is really black and orange and then this one here is magma he is gray and orange that's how we tell him apart even though he looks like kind of gray on one side but super black on the other he's mostly just gray gray with some black and uh, orange mostly just black and orange and I think they're both males um, but they seem to do really well together so yeah, we'll see where that goes. Anyways, um, this one is Barracuda. He is also an African cichlid. I see him a lot in uh, other people's videos. It seems to be quite a popular fish. Now, I don't know exactly what kind of cichlid, African cichlid he is, but he came with the tank. So did he, and then so did Bruce downstairs. So we have some, where's my sailfin? I have a sailfin in here, right there. The sailfin, and then I have three of the albino, um, the albino, uh, what is it called? Bristle nose. And they're usually like hanging out, like underneath this rock. There's one, see? There's one there. There might be another one under there. Sometimes they'll go inside that castle and I'll see their little face looking through one of those little holes there. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. But there's three of those little bristle noses in this tank, but they're small, so they're kind of hard for me to find unless they're out on the glass or something. So yeah, that's our, that's our tanks. Um, we're probably going to be changing this one up. Those two obviously are going to have to come out of here eventually. And then the goldfish. We got those to just kind of help like acclimate the tank really. And they've, you know, flourished. They're getting big. They're still pretty small, but they're getting big. You know what I mean? Compared to the ones downstairs. Um, yeah. That's our tanks, guys all of our fish um, we definitely want to get more fish um, some more tetras maybe get some baby oscars um, yeah and we'll just go from there so 
stay tuned because more fish videos are coming. We love our fish. We love doing this. And we just want to share it with you guys. All right. Catch you on the next one.